Welcome back. Ever wonder what things will be like a few years from now? Well, we can't actually look into the future, but our next guest has an impressive track record of predicting it. So what do current trends tell us about where we are headed globally? Gerald Salenti is the publisher of the Trends Journal, which you can find online, and he joins us now. Of course, he's accurately predicted the fall of the Soviet Union, the rise of Starbucks, uh, the dot-com bust, and others. Gerald, nice to see you this oh, morning. Welcome. Being out. So some of the things you talk about in your new Trends Journal, which is just out, and we were reading... You talk about the, the presidential reality show that you predict this is turning into a presidential reality show. What do you mean? Well, look at it. I mean, it's a made-for-TV spectacular starring contestants that will say anything, do anything, and promise anything to get elected. And I'm reminded of President Dwight D. Eisenhower, who's, Eisenhower, who's said, any man that wants to be president has to be either an egomaniac or crazy. And when I look at this show, I mean, come on. I'm going to roll my sleeves up and bump fist you to show you I'm one of the guys. You say that about President Obama. You also reference in the journal Mitt Romney planting himself using certain backgrounds and backdrops that are fake and, and preposterous. Exactly. I'll, put, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put on a pair of jeans and a sport jacket and an open collar to show you I'm not a multimillionaire and just one of the folks. Oh, boy, am I tired of hearing that word folks. Folks this, folks <laughs> Get that. Get used to that. It's yeah. going to continue. Next on your list in the Trends Journal, the economic recovery that isn't. You say just look at the numbers. Look at the, look at the unemployment numbers that just came out again. They said 163,000 jobs would be created. We had 115,000. Then when you look at the jobs that are being created, oh, service sector, hospitality, low-paying jobs. Look what's going on around the world. The only way they're keeping this afloat is by building a new debt bomb. The central banks over in Europe, they just loaned 1.4 trillion euros to banks at 0% virtually interest rates to keep putting it back into the economy. Which is where it brings us to our third point. You say this new world economic order, this idea of sort of the rise of the European power in a way, right? Well, yes, it, and it's all built on debt. These aren't economic cycles. They're debt bomb cycles. And then look what's going on. Let's look behind the scenes. The BRIC nations just met, Brazil... Russia, India, China, and now, of course, uh, South Africa. And what are they talking about? Only four meetings, and they're talking about establishing their own currency, their own World Bank. Right. So we're looking at a breakup of America in terms of economic sovereignty. Hmm. Read the Trends Journal. You can find it online and get it sent to your inbox on a monthly basis. Gerald, great to see you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Great. Thank you.